And a company right here in Central Florida is helping train members of the military to prepare for scenarios like this. Fox 35's Keith Landry has a look at how military simulation is saving lives. A Black Hawk helicopter is providing cover for a convoy on the move. Could be anywhere in the world. This simulation allows me to learn how to do that without risking lives in a real life mission. It's video game technology for national defense. The program called Virtual Battle Space 2 allows special operations units to custom design and then repeatedly rehearse an assault on a military installation. It's the type of training that could help reduce casualties in North Korea in a worst case scenario. And they can go through a set of missions and then they can look at alternate methods and alternates to that mission and see what the best outcomes are. The programs created by Bohemia Interactive Simulations can also help the military practice logistics for North Korea and other hot spots. If you land troops there and you have to drive a vehicle onto their streets, are our vehicles too wide? Uh, do we have areas? Do we have alternate rally points where we can drop soldiers? So I'm just going through a field and interacting here. The technology allows a soldier to practice driving a Humvee over tough terrain and through dangerous areas where the enemy occupies buildings. A sailor can even get to know his ship before he deploys. They can actually walk through every single one of those corridors, understand where all the fire extinguishers are, understand how to communicate. Black Hawk helicopters can train on the best way to support ground troops in North Korea or any hot spot. How does that ground soldier call in close air support? How do they interact with the fast moving vehicles? How do they call for a medevac for a helicopter and a chopper? Bohemia Interactive Simulations is one of 130 simulation companies right here in Central Florida working on America's national defense. In Orlando, Keith Landry, Fox 35 News.